When atheists say there is no God, what they deny is the existence of a conscious creator of the universe. Yet, what they cannot deny is the existence of a fundamental absolute being that grounds all that exists. In metaphysics, the branch of philosophy which deals with such topics, an absolute entity is eternal and infinite. And according to atheists, that absolute entity could be either the universe itself, a multiverse or a fundamental quantum field which is unconscious and gives rise to all conscious beings through a spontaneous process of random origins and evolution. Theists on the other hand consider the absolute entity to be a conscious and creative agent which they call God. Thus, the theists as well as the atheists agree over the existence of an absolute entity although they disagree over its exact characteristics specifically whether it's conscious or unconscious but whatever the exact na uh, nature of the absolute entity be it must be only one as the coexistence of more than one eternal infinite entities is logically impossible amazingly this metaphysical truth is narrated in the quran in a beautifully rhyming composition ahad, samad. say it is allah the only one the absolute and what's baffling is that the Quran was given to us by a man who had no training in literature and philosophy whatsoever.